Hello students, today we will study unit number 3, Transformer, in which we are going to understand one topic which is voltage transformation ratio. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So before understanding voltage transformation ratio, we will recall our previous video lectures. Now in one video lecture in which we have discussed about construction and working of transformer, at that time we have derived one equation if you have remembered what that uh, potential or EMF in secondary coil by EMF in primary coil is equals to number of turns in secondary coil by number of turns in primary coil. And from this equation, we have concluded one thing, what that whatever EMF is there, that is directly proportional to number of turns. That means if you will increase the number of turns, then EMF will also be increased. And if you will decrease the number of turns, then EMF would also be decreased. So in this video, same equation we will derive, but in the another way. Why? Because whatever voltage ratio of secondary coil is there by the voltage ratio of primary coil is there that is known as what that is known as voltage transformation ratio which is represented by k so voltage transformation ratio means what that it is a ratio of voltage in secondary coil divided by voltage in primary coil okay now Voltage is directly proportional to number of turns and for that purpose we have discussed about the step up transformer. Step up transformer has one uh, primary side, one uh, secondary side. Step up transformer is used for what purpose? It will increase the voltage that means low voltage to high voltage. That means in primary side voltage is what? Voltage is low and in secondary side voltage is high so EP is greater than ES. Similarly, if number or if uh, potential is high, so number of turn in primary side is high, then number of turn, sorry, number of turn in primary side is less than number of turn in secondary side. Why? Because E is directly proportional to P. If potential is less, number of turn is less. If potential is high, number of turns will be high. Also, we have discussed about step down transformer. Now, step down transformer will do what? It will decrease the voltage means high to low. So, for step down transformer, suppose that is uh, primary side and that is secondary side. Over here, EP potential. Over here, ES potential. And step down means high to low. That means over here, potential is high. Over here, potential is low. If potential is high, then number of turns will be high on primary side. If potential is low, then number of turns on secondary side is less. Okay, now why we are recalling this because that thing would help us to understand the meaning of K, to understand the meaning of voltage transformation ratio which is K. So same equation we will derive how. Okay, now we know very well that EMF of a single phase transformer equation is what? That E is equals to, if you are remembered, 4.445 M F into and okay that we have derived now if we'll talk about emf for for primary coil emf for primary coil then how you would apply this equation that emf of primary coil is equals to 4.445 uh, m a constant frequency is constant and number of turns for primary okay similarly if you will write the emf for secondary coil so for secondary coil what you can write you can write emf of secondary coil this equation you will apply secondary coil 4.445 m constant then remaining is frequency constant number of turn in secondary coil okay now from this equation can i write like this that ep by np ep by np equals to 4.445 m into f so equation 1 and over here can I write like that ES by NS is equals to 4.445 M into F constant in equation number 2. If you we'll observe equation 1 and 2, so both having same RHS right hand sides are same. And if right hand side of both of these equations are same, that means uh, right left hand side must be same for both these equations. So we will equate left side of both of these equations. So that is the left side. So that left side ES by NS must be equals to 
that left side that is ep by np so can we write like this that es by ep is equals to an s by np same equation ep es by ep is equals to ns by np and we know very well what the ratio of secondary voltage to primary voltage is known as what is known as voltage transformation ratio so you can write the definition also one more time i will say that the ratio of voltage in secondary coil to the voltage in primary coil is known as voltage transformation ratio okay now we will important three things very important three things one two and three okay which three thing that supposing if you will say that the value of a secondary turn is greater than value of primary turn okay then what you can say then you can say like that if this term is greater than this then answer of this term will be greater than 1 and if this term is greater than 1 that means value of k is also greater than 1 okay now ns is greater than np number of turns in secondary is more compared to primary number of turn in secondary is more compared to primary then we are talking about which transformer we are talking about step up transformer so remember one thing what that for the case of step up transformer value of k is always greater than 1 okay now next thing we will discuss that again if ns is less than np ns is less than np that means ns having less value and over here large value so that term will become less than 1 and if that term answer is less than 1 so k answer is less than 1 so can i write like this then k is less than 1 okay now ns is less than np we are talking about which transformer ns is less than np ns is less than np so we are talking about step down transformer so that is your step down transformer now step down transformer if you will if somebody will say that uh, value of k is less than 1 then that is which transformer then that is step down transformer if value of k is greater than 1 then that is which transformer so that is your step up transformer in which number of turns in secondary coil is more than the number of turn in primary coil okay and last case we'll discuss that ns is equals to np if ns and np same so both will be get cancelled so k value will be what k value will be 1 and k value will be 1 for what for 1 to 1 transformer 1 to 1 transformer means what that number of turns in primary coil and in secondary coil both are same so mutual induction process is taken place due to that power will be transmitted but uh, voltage will not change current will not change that is known as 1 to 1 transformer so this is all the story about the voltage transformation ratio. Now would I like to end this video. So till then read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.